My name is Kara Exner and I'm from Calgary, Alberta in Canada. And what I do for a living is I help really smart people to be really great leaders. Just in my experience, having seen so many people that are so good in their field, right? So whether it's uh, an academic who's really good at research or teaching, get promoted to a department head or associate dean without any training in management or leadership or somebody who's really good in sales and they get promoted to sales manager without any sort of idea about what it takes to manage like a team of salespeople. So the idea is that there's really smart, capable, able people and when they get to leadership positions they may not know um, or have an awareness of that as a new set of skills or a new, uh, a new way of operating for them. Leadership coaching, I think, is it's about having, having the client, having the leader client um, get their own awareness and their own definition about what leadership means for them, right? So training might be they go to one event and they get an idea and that might be it. Or consulting is somebody giving them advice about what they think they ought to be doing. But in coaching, it's about the leader themselves um, really discovering what leadership means to them. How can they draw from their past? How can they use existing skills and transfer them or translate them into leadership? What successes have they had that they can build on, right? Part of it is a confidence thing. Uh, and in coaching, it's all about realizing that you, you do have abilities. It's about setting goals and setting, having a focus on leadership as a new way of operating. In coaching, the, the learning and the change that people experience is much more impactful and sustainable when someone has come up with it on their own, when they discover it from within. It's like anything in life, right? So if someone tells you what to do, you might do it, but if someone asks you really great questions and makes really great observations about what they think is going on with you uh, and asks you what to do next, it's so empowering, right? You want to do it because you're bought into it, you're committed to it. You value what you're going to be doing. I think part of the part of a previous stigma might have been that coaching is remedial, right? Um, and that's not the case at all. You don't need to have a problem in order to get coaching. In fact, coaching can be for somebody that wants to go from where they are now and move to the next level. So the star performers uh, can really benefit from setting additional goals and stretching themselves, perhaps even out of their comfort zones. The challenge of the truth. Uh, the honesty, the tough questions, getting them to tell themselves the tough truths sometimes. Um, so it's that combination of challenging someone uh, beyond where they are now, as well as championing them um, to do things that maybe they didn't think they were, they had the potential for, they weren't capable of. There's a client who was new in a, in a leadership position and uh, not, not very comfortable with it. And through the process of coaching, we were able to tap into um, the strength and the confidence and talent that he brought from his previous roles and use that to really sort of help to guide him in what he was doing with leadership. And the, the change was amazing. I mean, it was just this, um, renewed and new and exciting sense of confidence and purpose um, and goal ori orientation for him even with this brand new highly uncomfortable role that he was that he was into it was it was amazing